So in this video we're going to be talking about decimal places. Um, if you have a look at the post on mathsrap.co.uk that will give you quite a lot of information or if you subscribe to the uh, YouTube channel there is a playlist on something called significant figures and decimal places. Uh, I talked in the last video about significant figures and basically significant figures are all about numbers which are subject to variation. So for instance uh, a population uh, we live in, in Leeds in the UK, in the United Kingdom, and that has a population of about 750,000 people. Um, however, the, the actual official statistic I think is 751,542, or so it was at the time that I got the information, but that information could now be significantly out of date. So we, hold, we use this whole concept of significant figures. Decimal places is different. Decimal places is all about accuracy of calculation. So for instance, if we're measuring something like uh, the volume of a liquid, where it is quite difficult to get an accurate measurement, particularly depending upon how you're measuring it, um, then you might, be, you might come across, particularly in an exam paper, this whole idea of decimal places. So what it means is, let's say we've got a number which is 62.1945. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to round that to one decimal place. Well, to one decimal, decimal place. What I do is I look at the first decimal place, and the first decimal place here is the number 1. Okay, and then I look at the second decimal place, and if the second dec decimal place is 5 or above, then that affects the 1 here. Now in this particular case it is, it's above 5, so therefore to one decimal place, this number becomes 62.2. Okay, so the thing about decimal places is you look at the number of decimal places that you're being asked to, to write the number to, and then you look at one more, you look at the next one along. So in this particular case, the next one along is 9, which is above 5, so therefore that one becomes 2. If you have a look at MathsRap, there's quite a few different questions uh, that you can download and have a go at, which are very similar to this to give you plenty of practice. Okay, so let's have a look at two decimal places for the same number. Okay, so two decimal places. Um, so I look at the second decimal place, which is 9, and that's fine because if I look at the third decimal place, that's a 4. So in other words, it's below 5. So what that means is, is that that 9 remains unchanged and it becomes 62.19 to two decimal places. Okay, um, three decimal places, so I'll have a look at that one. Um, so we've got three decimal places, again for the same number, and I look at the third decimal place along, which in this case is a 4. All right, then I look at the fourth one. Uh, the fourth one is a 5, so when I was looking at the first decimal place, I mentioned if it was 5 or above, um, it means that this number changes. Well, in this case, it is 5, um, so therefore I'm going to change that 4 to 62.19. Five, and that's to three decimal places. Um, if you have a look at the post, it will give you quite a lot of information and uh, plenty of practice, as I mentioned, with these. Please do um, have a look at the um, YouTube channel as well. You can subscribe to it and have a look at the playlist on YouTube that also relates to significant figures as well. I uh, hope you found it helpful. To, please do add a comment below, uh, like the video, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time.